All right, guys, got an unboxing here from the great guys over at Notice Watch Company. They sent me over probably one of my favorite models. They reinvented it, redid it, and updated it, if you will. So I'm excited to check this one out. They also sent me a note saying, hey, Rob, go ahead and hang on to this one for a while. Check it out. Take your time with it. Enjoy it a little bit. Um, there's a giveaway right there on the dial, so <laughs> they may have heard that I am a white dial fan. So um, I might actually take them up on the offer of holding on to this watch for a little bit and try to give us some rest time and check it out a little bit. Maybe do a couple of videos, maybe do an update video or something. But yeah, there it is. It's the new retrospect, which is again kind of like how Omega does it. I mean, it's gonna look white, but it I can tell in certain lights it's going to look silver. So we got to get this protective coating off the top. But yeah, it definitely, to me, I'm picking up silver tones on the dial for sure. So, and I know it's in between the day change. I know it's probably going to bug you guys and it might bug me. So let's just go ahead and get that switch over. Yeah, nice and smooth. So I think they went with a little bit bigger case and everything. I'm not sure if they went with a bigger dial at all, but. Um, it, I think they just upsized it all a little bit, and I'm not sure what other improvements they did, but um, I thought it was a really good watch in the first place, so going up a little bit bigger might actually fit my current taste. I think that might be a win going I, th I don't know what dimensions they went up, but I know they went up a, a little bit in size, and it definitely fills that real estate whereas the old retrospect maybe felt a little bit small for me man they just they have their finger on the pulse of the community and i know there's um, a bunch of people that like the smaller watches there's people that like the larger watches and they have enough models now that i think they're going to cover that full range so that's very cool of them to um, pay attention to that. let's check the bezel action yeah clean and crisp so i mean you got to talk about some micro brands it's pretty obvious when the brand owners and designers have way more um, intimate uh, contact with the design and the watch and everything like that. And in this case, it's actually even assembled by them, but they're also like super watch fans. So like they love bezel action, they love loom, they love all that stuff and they like the affordable watches. And that's the product they put out to us. So it's great that we have these opportunities. It's a great time to be in the watch hobby right now with crazy good micro brands out there. So thanks for watching, guys. Full video on this soon.